Hey, what's going on, guys and girls? Hard Drive 163. The Mud Duck Radio Station in the Desert. Hold on a second. You guys getting sick of the bullshit yet? Con jobs. Fake jobs. All those kind of jobs yet? Being insulted by wankers and rompery? Are you? You should be. They can't seem to read a schematic when they do, they do it misleading. Or they try to scribble on a piece of paper and try to point things out that are incorrect. Like a 2SC 2999 or a Max Mod versus Tip 36 or they got some computer program running and you don't see everything all at the same time. That means you got lied to. They're, they're con artists. I know you probably get sick of hearing that. Just hold on a second. You're gonna dig those. Just need a little bit more music in here. It's too quiet. There we go. <laughs> this is the one that came out of it, as you can see, okay? You know what this is. So, uh, we're going to put this one in momentarily. So to make sure nothing's ever out of your sight, because that's the only way anyone should ever be doing a video. And that's why I either use dual cameras like I have, or they have to show you like this. They can't show you everything like this. If they don't have, like, you know, They're full of shit. Now, doing stuff at home for yourself, that's one thing, but doing a video or charging people, come on, man, get serious. Get the real deal. Stop talking your shit. You make the rest of us look bad, wanker. All right, hold on. Radio's still on. We gotta kill that. Iron's still hot. We're gonna go first with tip uh, max mod. I gotta try to. I gotta move this a little bit so I can see what I'm actually doing. It's gonna be tacky, but this is gonna work. Okay. All plain and simple in sight. Not some kind of shit that someone's claimed. It's on software that they did for a week and they took it out of your sight and expect you to believe them. They're already a con artist and then they want you to believe them. I mean, get serious. Okay. Now this one, I'm probably going to have to hold my finger here. While I hold this up against this. And I'm going to do it right in front of you and you're going to see that. This is on Fahrenheit. But the other one, the tip 36, the legs are going to be shorter, so it's not going to move as easy. 
but you're gonna see right in plain sight that I'm gonna hold it right there like that I'm not gonna use a stopwatch I don't really need one we're gonna have the ability of YouTube to time it and I'm gonna take it to 200 degrees I know that's crazy yep crazy but what I'm going to do is play music in the background so if there was any kind of hocus pocus, like these others play hocus pocus, you'd hear the skip in the music or something. But I don't play games, I just do it plain and simple. So what I'm probably gonna do, because I don't have too many hands, my key is over there, I'll just unplug it from right here when I'm ready. So let's get ready to turn it on. Put an end to all this bullshit. And like who the con artists are, etc. Here we go. It's on. See? Plugged in. Okay, the Roger Beep is on. I don't want to get it even get it hotter, so just let's see if can we see that? Yeah, we can see that. So I'm gonna have to kind of reach around everything. You're gonna see that in plain sight. I'll probably just hold it here like this. Just like that. 88 degrees. Can you see it? I gotta come over here to key it. Alright. I'm gonna stop it at 200. I'm gonna unplug it in the front of the radio, is what I'm gonna do. So we got 114. I got the power turned down a little bit. Radio is tuned. If we run it up at full power, the tip 36 will like detonate, okay? So we're gonna do it like this. This should give us a nice, good, accurate reading. Right in the center of Max Miles. Turn it a little bit. We can see everything. When it goes off, I'm going to plug it in front of the radio, straight down here at 200. Well, I just I've been talking the whole time, so. You know how long it is. I don't play hocus pocus with videos. So there we are, 200. I unplugged it. All right. I just unplugged it from the radio. It's kind of hard to reach around with all these wires, etc., and everything here. I don't want nothing to ground out. Okay. So next step is we're going to unplug the radio, get rid of the power from it. Yeah, this is going to look tacky, but I'm trying to do it right in front of you. I'm going to move the camera. Okay, tip 36, it just came out of it. This is the one that came out of it. You can see I already tested it. No scratches on the back. So let's put this one in. Nothing permanent, but good. We'll even add a little bit of solder so no one can say there was too much resistance. I don't know if I'll have another video this weekend. 
uh, maybe I'm gonna take Mopo out or something. I got a lot of radios to get done. Everything looks all hunky dory and kosher. There we go. Max spot, the one I just took out. Let's plug it in. There we go, there's everything. There's the radio. You see nothing's plugged into it. Front and back. I've seen some other videos in the past where they tried to blow up some 13 antennas, man. That was some shyster shit there. But I've already did a video covering that. Okay. There's the radio. It's on. Let's check the voltage again. Same voltage. Yeah. Zoom on out. Let's get a good view here. 70 degrees in your hand. 70 degrees, not bad. Leaves in plain sight. Nothing beautiful, it's just there. Okay, unkey that. Get up underneath this. I'm gonna get this plugged into the radio. Plugged into the radio. In plain sight. You guys gotta be sick of the bullshit by now. Sometimes I let things go for a while. I'm not a kid, I'm kind of an older guy, you know. I'm not the oldest guy around, but sometimes you gotta let these kids just completely fall on their face and drown and bury themselves in the mud. You know what I mean? Oh, they, they always try to come back up again. It's like you turn the lights on, they disappear. You know what I mean? Then they hide behind the baseboards till the lights, they think the lights are out and then they try to crawl back out again. It's pathetic, isn't it? Hold on a minute. Strawberry vape, I'm gonna blow on the radio. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Make sure it's working. I like my wires bent like that. Are we there pretty good now? Okay, I'm gonna key it with my left hand somehow, my right hand. There it is up against it. Should be the exact same carrier, everything. There we go. And I'm gonna unplug it in the front of the radio. I've done this before and I've seen what happened here like this. Watch the seconds. Okay, yes. Major difference, isn't it? I'll do a little bit of math when I watch the video and count the seconds. I'm gonna get this out of here. But there's no way I would own a radio without Max Mod. My Match 2030 Plus is in my tune, especially for you guys in the truck. Absolutely no way. Will they work with a mellow tuner factory? Well, factory is a little bit dirty. You've seen it. I've shown these radios. God only knows how many times. Anyways, there you go. Let's 
Let's see. Let's plug it back in again real quick. Yes, everything's working. We got to keep it on key though. Because that'll get so hot it'll melt right off. It's cooling off. Let's do that again. One thirty-five to to over 200. So what we're going to do is subtract the seconds between the two and see which one took longer to get hotter. The one that takes longer is a much better transistor that is capable of, well it's a higher voltage transistor and will dissipate more heat correctly and disperse it easier because of its mass. It's not just the mass. This is like saying, okay, a 3 amp fuse versus a 15 amp fuse. Comprende? Hope you got something out of that. Thank <laughs> you.